to Board Game Empire. So today we're going to be doing a review of Long Shot the Dice Game. Okay, this is a cool roll and write uh, dice game that we played, uh, I think, two weeks ago. Yeah. And it um, has great progression as you build up your uh, your tableau area, buying horses, um, doing different things you do in the game. Uh, really like the downtime, very little downtime, a lot of player interaction. And so really fun game that we uh, really enjoyed. So we're just going just to jump right into the review. So what did you think about the rules? I would give the rules a 5 out of 5. We had no questions during our playthrough. Okay, I'll give it 5 out of 5. Great rule book. Uh, it's only, I think, like 10 pages uh, or 14 pages, but it does have variants like the um, solo. And then there's also a uh, four player. And so there's different variants and different um, modes that you can play. So it covers all that. So great rule book. Uh, the font is easy to understand. There's a lot of illustrations. Uh, page layout's perfect. It's, you know, from beginning to end, it's, it doesn't jump around pages. So five out of five. What did you think about the components? I would give the components a um, five out of five. I really like the horse. Um, characters. Those are pretty cool. I like the board. It does seem to bend a little bit, but it's very slightly. It's not bad at all. The cards are actually pretty high quality. Um, I like the board as well. And the f another thing that's good about this game is that the markers, the, the when you write something, it easily erases. Sometimes in, like with certain components, it's pretty hard to erase it and it takes a while. Also, the dice are super high quality. And the box. The box is also pretty really cool. It's magnetic. So, everything about it is pretty cool. So, I give it a 5 out of 5 as well. Um, I really like the meeple uh, horses. Um, they're wood. The board is uh, nice and thick. It does elevate a little bit. It doesn't lay flat as much as we wish. Um, they'll probably come over time. The car quality is really good. And when you write on the cards, it's easy to erase as well. Your uh, player cards or player uh, board, uh, same thing. When you write on it, it's easy to erase. And so really like the dice, high quality dice. It has different colors, so you could distinguish that by the color as well. And the markers work very well. Also like the box, the box is magnetic to open and shut it. So five out of five in the components. What did you think about the overall experience? I'll give the experience five out of five. It was really fun seeing like what characters win and what ones don't win. Because sometimes when a character is like, let's say here. And then this one was right here. This one could still win if you got really lucky. Because there was one time where one didn't even, I think it was, it was like this one, and it, it wasn't even there. Like it was the only one that was that didn't move, and then it just went all the way to here. Yeah, came in a couple close. of turns. Yeah, so there's definitely lots of um ways that you can win, and it's unexpected. And there's so many different decisions on your turn. They and there's a lot of replayability. There's so much you can do, and these aren't even all the horses. There's like I'm pretty sure there's three other yeah, there's three sets. To yeah, three total sets. Yeah. And then there's expansion. <laughs> so, uh, for the experience, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. Great experience. Uh, like the progression. Uh, like the point salad aspect of the game. Because there's many different ways at the end of the game that you uh, tally up your points. Um, also, like that you can buy the horses. And that also gives you... A tremendous amount of points if you add uh, horse wins first, second, or third. Um, but that's not the you know determining factor at the end if you win. Um, there are other ways to mitigate that and get enough points where you actually can win, even if your horse doesn't win uh, first, second, third. And so there's many different strategies. It is a little luck based simply because of the dice rolling and everything. But um, there is ways to to you know determine how um, you go try to get points. And so just great game, um, five out of five in experience. What did you think about the mechanics? 
I'll give the mechanics five out of five. I like how there's there's some luck involved, but not like a lot. Uh, there's not like a bunch of luck because you there's a lot of strategy and when when you get like first, second, or third, it's not really that huge amount of points because this is this is money and that's basically points and you could still win because. You you have to get first to get thirty five points. But while you're um doing, but while if you're not focusing on this, then you can find other ways to get points. Because there's only so many, there's only so many turns that the game will last. So there's definitely lots of strategy, but it also does have some luck. Okay, so. I really do like the mechanics of this. Um, I give it five out of five, great mechanics. Uh, so pretty much you're just rolling dice every turn and you, whatever dice you roll, if it's a one, that's the uh, number one horse moves, so five, seven, eight. So those are determined uh, what the horse the moves and then the green dice determines the distance. Now, when you move a horse, it also moves other horses and so at the start, those horses only move certain horses, but you can um, pretty much put the the jersey, and that will allow those other horses to move the horse that you want as well. And so, and then there's also the hat, which will allow you to uh, bet even at the end on those horses. There's uh, once you get sets, you get five points. Uh, you are able to bet on horses. You start with $12. Um, and then as you uh, progress, you'll be able to uh, fill out this area, the columns, and then you'll be able to uh, gain more. You could get seven, seven, seven. So you could get uh, 14, 21. And then you also can uh, move your horses two or, or three, or you can move horses back two or negative three. Uh, there's also a wild area right here. And so there's so many different uh, choices and different avenues that you could do. And so just a great mechanics and very, very fun uh, for our rolling right. And we like the betting aspect of the game. So five out of five in mechanics. What do you think about the uh, replayability? I would give the replayability a five out of five because there's so many different horses and so many different things you can do and it's always going to be different with the dice rolling yeah so i give the uh replayability a five out of five uh just because there's three sets of horses um that you're able to choose from and then there's uh some expansion i think and then there's also another expansion that might be coming out so there's i can see the many different um avenues that they could go in this uh i guess you could also I'm guessing there might be uh, an expansion where it adds a farm and then you could just, you'll be able to race the horse, you know, not race, but, you know, race it like from baby to, and then you, and then you could pretty much put it in the, in the race itself. Um, there's many different avenues I could see, you know, that they could do with this, uh, this theme. And so, Phenomenal game. I uh, can't wait for expansions. And so five out of five and the replayability. What did you think about the overall total? I would give the overall total like 8.5 out of 10, 4.5 out of 5. It's a, it's a really fun board game and there is some luck, but there's also lots of strategy and there's a lot of replayability. And we noticed that that you never know who's gonna win. Like I'm pretty sure when we did our playthrough, the person who won only got like second or third mm -hmm. on the way. So like even if you get first, that doesn't mean you're going to win. Yep. Okay, so I give the uh, total probably like a like a nine out of ten, like a four point five, four point eight out of, um, ten, out of five. Just really enjoy this game. Um, I could just see me playing this and having, and this game is quick game. It's like probably like, I think it's like, what, 25 minutes. And it's very easy to set up. It takes five to 10 minutes. Um, you can play m multiple games of this game in a day. Uh, and so just extremely fun accessibility. 
um, easy to get to the table and just so many options and everything. And so nine out of 10, uh, 4.8, 4.9 out of five, uh, just really enjoyed it. And why did you give the score? At um, 8.5 out of 10? Yeah, 4.5 so, out of five. Yeah, so just great game. Uh, if you're looking for a roll and write, this is a great roll and write that you'll um, probably enjoy. And so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. We'll have a link of where we'll buy the game. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.